The next example is all about showing consistency with what we've done before. Okay, I want to show that the new force of gravity equation makes sense with how we were measuring the force of gravity before when we were talking about objects on Earth. So here we have a 10 kilogram mass on the surface of the Earth, and I want you guys to figure out the force of gravity on it. Now I know you know the easy way to do it, but let's use the new force of gravity equation that we've defined for this chapter. So we're going to do the force of gravity is equal to big G. We'll use a big M to indicate the mass of Earth, little m to indicate the mass of the object, in this case the 10 kilogram mass, and then divided by R squared, that's the distance between the two objects. If we're talking about an object on the surface of the Earth, then the distance between the center of mass of the Earth and the object is going to be the radius of the Earth. So I need two different things. I need the mass of the Earth, and I need the radius of the Earth. The mass of the Earth, which you guys can use your phone to look up, or just listen to me, because you're going to have it memorized in a couple days, 5.98 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. 5.98 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. That's the mass of the Earth. The radius of the Earth is equal to 6.37 times 10 to the 6th meters. 6.37 times 10 to the 6 meters. So we're going to calculate the force of gravity on the 10 kilogram mass using this equation. So the force of gravity is going to be equal to 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. Mass of the Earth, 5.98 times 10 to the 24th. 10 kilogram object divided by the radius, 6.37 times 10 to the 6th. And we're squaring it. Okay? You get a force of gravity equal to 98.3 newtons when you use this equation. 98.3. Now, if you just used 10 multiplied by 9.8, you would have gotten approximately 98 newtons. So the two equations make complete sense. Okay? The two equations make complete sense. This is because you can actually calculate the acceleration on any object, the acceleration of the moon, the acceleration on Mars, the acceleration of a simple mass using the following technique. So to calculate the acceleration of gravity, if you want to calculate the acceleration of gravity, notice that the force of gravity is equal to big G m1 m2 over r squared. Okay? We're going to rewrite this in the same form that I used over here, a big mass and a little mass. So, force of gravity multiplied by big mass, little mass, divided by r squared. Okay? This still needs to hold true for Newton's second law. So that would mean that the little mass is going to experience an acceleration. That acceleration is coming from the force of gravity equation. So notice, I haven't done any tricks here. Big G mm over r squared is equal to mass times acceleration. That's Newton's second law. So what that means is that the little mass drops out. So if I want to figure out the acceleration of gravity for any object, or caused by any object is probably a better way of putting it, it's big G m over r squared. So this is how we calculate the acceleration of gravity due to an object. So if I wanted to figure out the acceleration of gravity for the moon, big G is constant, I would need the mass of the moon, and I would need the distance from the center of mass to the surface of the moon. So I'd need the radius of the moon. I can use this to calculate the acceleration of gravity of Earth. We know it should be about 9.8, but let's check and make sure that we get the same thing. So if I wanted to calculate, find AG, of Earth. If I wanted to calculate the acceleration of gravity of the Earth, it would be the acceleration of gravity is equal to big G, mass of the Earth, divided by the radius of the Earth squared. So that would be 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11, multiplied by the mass of the Earth, 5.98 times 10 to the 24th, divided by the radius of the Earth squared, 6.37 times 10 to the 6th, the quantity squared. And I get that the acceleration of gravity on the Earth is 9.8 meters per second squared. So again, you might have problems where they ask you to find the acceleration of gravity on the surface of the moon. You would use the mass of the moon, radius of the moon. 
If you wanted to find the acceleration of gravity on Mars, you would use the mass of Mars and you would use the radius of Mars. Very easy to calculate those accelerations of gravities if you have the given quantities.